Before we can get started building the site, the first thing we need to do is install Craft. And before we can do that, we need to look at what the requirements are to install Craft because we want to make sure that our installation is running properly. Now, these requirements are as of the recording of the course, so please check the Craft documentation at docs.craftcms.com for the latest requirements. So from a server perspective, here's what we need. PHP 7 or later, MySQL 5.5 or later with InnoDB, or Postgres 9.5 or later. We need a web server. I like to use Apache or Nginx, but you can also use IIS. We need to have a minimum of 256 megabytes of memory allocated to PHP. That is the absolute minimum. I would say that's probably even unrealistic for a lot of applications. It really depends on what you're doing with Craft. To just install plain Craft without doing anything else, it's probably enough, but I think you'll need more. And then a minimum of 200 megabytes of disk space. So for PHP requirements, we have some extensions that we're going to need. I'm just going to run through these. So PCRE, PDO, GD, or ImageMagick, OpenSSL, Multibyte String, JSON, Curl, Reflection, SPL, Zip, and any sensible default install, like a typical LAMP stack server, will already have these extensions installed. If you find yourself with a server that doesn't have these and you can't enable them yourself, then I recommend that you contact your host or system administrator to have the extensions enabled and you really shouldn't proceed until you do that. If you ever have questions about hosting, you can just write to support at majingo.com or course questions and I'm happy to respond and help the best I can. You can also drop a chat to the bottom right of this course page and ask me there as well and I'll reply as fast as I can. So as far as database requirements, like I said, it's MySQL or Postgres, and you're going to need to make sure you have the database credentials handy, including the database name. So you'll need the username, the password, the endpoint, so maybe the URL, and then the database name. And your database user should have read and write permissions as well. If you ever need to access the server requirements or send them to someone who is setting up a server for you, just go to docs.craftcms.com and then click on the left on server requirements and anyone that set up servers will be able to go from there to make sure that everything is installed and working as needed. So don't skip this step. I really encourage you to make sure that you work through that your server is set up to meet the standards. When you install Craft, it will do checks to tell you. And additionally, on the document site, you can see under tip here, there is the option to download a craft server check script, which will help you easily and quickly find out whether your server meets crafts requirements. And if it doesn't, it'll tell you what is missing. And then a little bit about permissions. You do need to make sure that the craft config directory and the storage directory both have writable permissions on them so that the application itself can write to the contents to files and create files inside of that directory. You'll get errors if it isn't set up right, so you'll know pretty quickly, but you wanna make sure those are writable. All right, so that is it on the requirements. Again, if you ever need to access those requirements, you can get those at docs.craftcms.com, and those will be up to date with the current releases of Craft.